everyone and welcome to today's vlog. Some hair in the lens. <laughs> so today I've just mainly been doing some washings. I finally uh, finished most of the washings. Um, I had to do some clothes in the office because uh, there's some towels that kind of sit on the shelf next to my desk and uh, the moths were kind of on it so I washed them and I put them away now and they're like in the linen cupboard so hopefully no moths come to it. I'm noticing though I'm seeing less moths upstairs and uh, there's a hell of a lot of moths on those moth traps it's scary but I'm thinking but I've got some new moth traps so my plan is to put some new ones down and hopefully attract the few that's around on walls and ceilings and things. Um, the other night when I went upstairs I saw like 13 of them in a the wall and today I've only seen like about 4 of them. There was like 2 in my room and there was like a few in my office so there wasn't really many. I think I'm slowly getting rid of them now which is kind of good. Hopefully I can get back into my actual bedroom soon. But um, one thing I did do last night is um, I basically um, ended up, um, I basically ended up last night I was a little bit, you know, nothing to do and I thought you know what I'm not having another night lying in my bed with my uh, head hanging over the edge of the bed. Um, so I decided on a whim last night at like half one in the morning to put the headboard on uh, the bed in the guest bedroom. It's not facing the right way. Um, turns out the bottom of the bed is actually the top of the bed. Um, at some point it must have got put the wrong way around so that's probably my fault. Um, but yeah, so at the minute the headboard is kind of facing the window but I'm happy with that for now because I don't like sleeping under the window because for whatever reason spiders seem to come in that room and that would just be my worst nightmare a spider coming through that window and landing on my head. So yeah, and moths seem to keep going on the curtain. I've seen like two of them so far on that curtain so I'm just going to leave that for now and then um, what I'm going to do is I'm just literally going to um, leave it facing the way it is and uh, hopefully it looks alright and it will do for now. Acting crazy. What does this mean? Nothing. Nothing. It doesn't mean anything. <sighs> Do you want me to hurt you? Well, I am leaving. I am taking my children. I am walking out of that door. And I swear, if you try and stop me, I will start screaming. And I won't stop until you're inside. Now get out of my way. <laughs> and welcome to Friday. So as you just seen, I just reacted to EastEnders and that was quite an episode. That was like insane. I won't spoil it, spoil it for anyone in case no one's like watched it yet, but yo, I wasn't expecting it to happen that way. That's all I'm gonna say. I wasn't expecting that, um, but yeah. That was, yeah, edge of seat kind of stuff. I have to say though, towards like the end of that episode, I was so angry with Grey. I was just like, what are you doing? I'm pretty mad with Grey. I don't know why he just like left. 
I don't know why he did that. Like, is he is he okay? Obviously not. But <laughs> you know, like, I can't believe he did that. Like, she was dying, and he just went, "Ah, screw it. I'm just gonna go for a walk about and buy some milk." <laughs> like, that's that's a bit normal thing you do in that situation. Hopeful in time that he gets caught out. I'm looking forward to like you know Karen and uh, Mitch getting their their payback on him. I think. They're going to go absolutely crazy, especially when they find out eventually what's happened. Hopefully we don't have to wait till Christmas for, you know, the big reveal of, you know, what he's been doing. But, yeah, I really hope that all that, like, comes to a head at some point soon. And, uh, I'm hoping he goes to jail, because that would be quite good. I feel for Santa, but I liked her. So, yeah. But, uh, good episode, EastEnders, and they did quite well in doing all that considering what we're now currently living through so they did quite good to make that believable and um yeah very very good and sad storyline so they did really well <laughs>